How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'll be showing you guys how I built this Arduino joystick game. Now what this game is, basically a few months ago, I think it was 6 months ago, I built this same robot or this same game without the box or like without making it look good or making it, without making it look nearly as good. I'll put a picture of it up on screen right now. Now this video blew up, this got a lot of views and so far I think it's our most viewed video right now. So basically what I want to do is make it more presentable, make it more like updated and stuff. Before I get into showing you how it works, I just want to talk about why I haven't been uploading that much or why haven't there been that many Arduino videos. Now the reason for that being is my 3D printer has been acting up recently, it hasn't been printing good at all. Put some pictures up on screen of how it looked like before. And this is how it looks like after. You can see the 3D printed box. It's clean from the back. It's clean from the back. It's seamless. It looks like it looks like it's not 3D printed. It looks really clean. The only bad part about this is the bottom over here is the brim. I think this was set to two millimeters or three millimeters, which is why it's like really close to it and uh, it's you know sticks on too much. I can't really take this off properly. Now let's give you a brief overview of the box. It's at the top. There's three holes. One this big rectangle, one where the LCD display goes on. This is a 16 by 2 LCD display. This is where the wires for the joystick go through. There's three of them, one for the GND, 5 volt, the power supply, and the... Now the basic plan for this was to be making this, uh, this joystick look like this, where the main part of it, the PCB, was hidden under the box, and all the wiring was hidden under the box. But then I found out, well, basically after I built the first design on CAD, was that when I moved this joystick all the way down, it reaches the wiring, so the wires could never be under the box. This thing just went turn all the way. Right now I'm giving it power through the USB cable. And the reason for this being the battery wasn't working properly. It wasn't giving it wasn't giving it enough power. It was a six volt battery, a six volt lipo battery. I've used it for all my other Arduino videos. And for some reason it wasn't working properly, so I just decided to go with the USB cable. So now let me show you how this game works, and after that I'll open it up and show you how the wiring looks like from the inside. And I'll try to find a, a schematic, like a freaking. Schematic. I'll put. I'll post on the screen if it's there. I'll put in the link in the description. You guys can get it from there. And if those aren't there, and if you don't understand the wiring from me, you can always watch the other video, the joystick video. You can just go to our channel and sort it by most popular. Should be the first one. And now let me just show you how it works. The basic demonstration. So now I'll plug it in and show you how it works. The code's already uploaded, so it should just turn on when I plug it in. The code will also be in the description. So when you start up the game, you get greeted with the screen. Now, if we were to upload the code at the start. Your screen would either look like this, or it would look like this. Now once like this, you can't really see the screen properly. And the reason for that is because there's too many voltages going through it. Now you could fix that with either a resistor or a potentiometer. I went here with a potentiometer, because it looks better, it's like a brightness control thing. You guys can see when I turn the potentiometer, the brightness of the screen changes. And it gets good. So this is I'll keep it to this for now. And you can start by pushing the thing down, the joystick down, and whenever you push it down, it jumps. And that's just the thing it does. This is the key. It's very entertaining. Now if you don't do anything to it, it'll crash into a wall and it'll give you just the startup screen again. I'll say press start. Now the reason it says press start is because before this used to be controlled by the button over here. You guys see that there's a button over there? Before you would have to click this button to make it click. Now why do you do that? Because the joystick looks a lot better than just a push button. And pushing this thing down would just push too much pressure on the top of the box. And the box is hollow except for the wiring, so that would just crack this top part. It's only two millimeters thick, so you get the point, right? Now when I push this down, it'll just restart. Now with this wiring, you can upload different codes and get different games. I, I'll try to put some links in the description. If they're not there, then you can search up LCD display games for Arduino. The code is the the code's gonna be different, but the wiring can all be the same. So you probably shouldn't have. So you shouldn't have to open up the whole thing just to get a new, uh, just to upload the new code. In. I'll just continue playing this game until the, the thing dies. Oh, there we go. Now I'll open up the case and show you how it looks like from the inside. Okay, so now I've taken all the glue off, and we can just take this lid off really carefully so the wires don't get bent. Now this is the wiring looks like from the inside. I hope you guys can see stuff from here. Now what this potentiometer is. The GND and 5V go where they're supposed to go. So the right, all the way on the right, the green wire is on the GND. The purple wire is on the 5 volt. I'll do my best to explain this. This blue wire over here is connected to the LCD display. It's the third wire from the right. So all the way on the left, you count three wires to the right, and then you put on the third wire, all right? That's that. These two first wires are on GND and 5V. And I hope you guys can see what the other wires are. I'll put a link to a YouTube video where you can find all the wiring. 
Remember the wiring I got this wiring from as well. So you guys could watch that if you guys don't see anything from here. Oh, and the uh, and the joystick, all on the left is the GND. Next to the GND is the 5V, and then this X-axis pin. This one goes on to digital pin number two, I believe, over here. Yeah, the digital pin number two. And that's about it. So now over here, I'll give you an explanation of what the microcontroller is. It's Arduino Nano on an IO uh, on an IO expansion shield. You don't need an Arduino Nano. You could use the Arduino Uno, Mega, uh, whatever else you guys have. Arduino Mini, whatever they're making these days. There, you can use any of those. The reason I use the IO expansion shield is because all the pins are just out already, and I had a lot of these spare uh, these spare wires, the ones that are open from both sides. I forgot what they're called. I had a lot of those just spare lying around. So you guys can see how these two are all, this batch is connected and this batch is connected and at the end they all get connected all down there as well. Yeah, it looks really clean. But in hindsight that doesn't really matter because when you just put this over here you don't see any of that. But you know, it looks good anyways. So yeah, that's about it. When you plug this in it still works, obviously. Let's give, what uh, the heck is that? Oh <laughs> my god. Listen. There we go. Uh oh, it's, it's bugging out right now because the lid's not on, so some of the wires are getting detached. But that's fine, doesn't matter. Yeah, see, so it's kind of bugging. Oh, wait, wait. I thought I died and then it started again. Anyway, let's put this lid back on. And that's about it for this week's video. We'll see you next week. Unless the 3D printer starts acting up again.